Hello, I'm Zanti. My name is Utsabi Swankonyeni, your host, and we are once back again with another episode of I Love My Ride Essay, a show that brings the inside stories of car owners sharing their most unique love, connection, and especially their experiences they share with their cars. Some call it the crazy love. Our guest joining us today is Urohura Ramugondo, who introduces us to his car, a white Polo Vivo 1.4 liters 2011 model, which he calls it Chiredi, meaning grace. And this is their story. My name is Rola Ramukondo. I'm from all the way in Venda in Limpopo. Um, I moved to Devon in 2015. I've been here since. And then I bought my car in 2016, I think. Yeah. Um, my car is named after my mother. My car's name is Chiriti, which means grace. That's Chivenda in grace. It means grace in Chivenda. So um, yeah, I use my car on a daily basis. Going to work, I work shifts, so my car helps a lot because sometimes I leave work at 10 p.m. I have to come back, so I use my car. Um, I named it after my mother because she died a few months before I bought my car. So it was fitting that I named the car after her. She did, that means grace in, in Chivenda. So that's why I have an emotional attachment to my car because it basically reminds me of my mother. It's a memory of my mother. So I bought my car in 2016. Initially, I didn't want to buy a car. It wasn't in my head at all. I just I was just chilling with two friends of mine from home. And then one of them asked me why I don't use the car that my mother used to use at home. So I didn't think about it. But after I thought about it, I thought, hey, this is a good idea. And I called my father. My father was against it. He's the one who suggested that why don't you just buy a new car instead of taking the old one at home that's just gonna give you problems. And I thought about it, it was a good idea. So from then we started looking for a second and reasonably priced car. And we found one in Pretoria, and then I had to go and, and fetch it there. Yeah, that was a good experience driving it back. So I've had the car since then, that was four years ago, and to this day it hasn't given me much problems. It's given me problems, but not a lot of problems. So yeah, I love the car, and it's basically my baby. We do everything together. person who likes to go out much but uh, when I do get a chance I do go out and the problem is you know driving a polo um, the people who like to steal cars this is one of their favorite cars so I have to be careful where I go uh, especially if it's at night time you know when I first bought the car when I came to Durban there were people who told me that don't go to certain places don't go to the townships don't go to Mlazi don't go to Kwamashu so I've, I've been paranoid since then, you know, I try to restrict my movements. But I've realized since then that it's, it's, it's not really true. If someone wants to steal your car, they can steal it anywhere. They can steal it in Morningside. Someone, if, if someone wants to steal my car, they can steal it in town. I can afford to buy a new car, but there's something about this one. I can't let it go. I can't imagine someone driving out, someone else driving this car. I can't. So one of the... I can't decide between two things about my favorite thing about the car. I can't decide between the sound system and the fuel efficiency. If I can say so, it's got a very good sound system, which I fitted in. There's a subwoofer, there's an amp, and it makes everything that I'm playing sound, it just sounds better. I play all kinds of music. Everything that just, just sounds better with the sound system. Also the fuel efficiency, it's very, it's very economical. As someone who does a lot of long distance traveling, going home, which is like a thousand kilometers away, 
going to Gauteng, which is like 600 kilometers away. I've been to Gauteng regularly, and I, I can tell you now that I get there on half a tank, which is very impressive. So it's, it's never been in an accident before, but um, I've, I've had a couple of bumps. I've bumped it two, two times, I think. First time I was in Pretoria when I was driving into a garage, and I don't know, I just blacked out in my mind, something happened, and I hit the side of the car on the side. Uh, it's not a very big scratch, but I was very really disappointed in myself. The second time, I was here December 2018, I was at work, and something just happened, I don't know. You know when you're driving and you're not thinking about driving, you're thinking about other things. So I was thinking about other things while I was driving, and I was driving, turning on the right, to the right, and I hit on the door, on the right. It was a big dent, actually. Um, yeah, that got me very sad. I almost cried, if I remember. But the saddest thing about that day was a few hours, less than an hour, less than two hours after I hit the car, my brother was calling me from home, and he told me that he also just got into a car accident. Less than two hours after I bumped my car, my brother was getting into a car accident. So, yeah, that was very weird for me. So, um, I can't tell you how many offers I've received for people who want to buy the car. I've been tempted once or twice, but I can't part with it. It's, I thought about it and it's, it's, I've got an emotional attachment to the car. I don't think it's anything anyone can understand. Um, a few months before I bought the car, my mom died and it was very, a very difficult period in my life. So when I got the car, it was like something, the first period I, since she died that I was actually happy because I bought the car and when she died, obviously she left some of her money that she left us and I used some of that to buy the car. That's why I named it after my mother because it just remind, it reminds me of her. I can't say I love my ride because lo I don't think love is the, the right word. I think, let's come up with another word. Okay. What's bigger than love? Something. Because love is not enough. I love this car more than I love some people.